shaking the table. It's not an earthquake, it's me shaking the table. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, as you realised last week, we toured the Taupo area and we stayed at the the Brett's Spa Resort in Taupo. We had a rather interesting time there. So this week we decided, because we've been there a few times, and we would um, do a bit of a review on the place and, and share some of our findings with you. Uh, this is not organised by the Brett's in any way. It is purely our own opinion. We went down with our caravan and so we used a powered site. Now one of the things we notice with the Brett's is that the size of the pitches or the sites as they call them in New Zealand is that they are very very mixed. The, um, you can get some small ones and you can get some pretty big size um, sites as well uh, with some of them have concrete slabs on, some of them just have grass and so on. So that's the first thing we noticed. Uh, as far as access goes, if you've got a large vehicle, it's not a problem. It pays to look at the map and pick out which site best suits your vehicle. We have a 1960 Chevy Impala that we tow the caravan with and backing can be a bit of an issue. So we always pick out certain sites that we know we can manoeuvre in, in and out of really easy so that that's a point um, as well one thing we did notice however is that the sites the grass on the sites was very much lacking in fact our site this last time had rather large potholes in it so it was very little grass with plenty of dirt and some potholes that you could quite easily sprain an ankle and if you're not careful so um that was a bit of a concern. As a result of not having much grass, the sites were a bit dusty, and when the wind gets up, it can be a bit of a problem. So that's one thing to bear in mind with uh, powered sites. Um, now, another thing too with powered sites is the way that the campground is laid out is just have a good look before you actually confirm your site because on one part of the boundary, it borders with State Highway 5, which is the main arterial route from Taupo into Napier. And it is on a slight rise, so if you've got trucks and various vehicles like that going up there, you it, it can be quite noisy. So that's along the boundary facing the State Highway. On the other hand, we also had a site one year which was close to the reception and car park. Uh, that also turned out to be a bit noisy at times because we had cars coming and going, doors opening and closing, and you know cars standing up, people talking and all that sort of thing. So it can be a bit noisy there as well. The best sites that we found were in the centre of the campground, which um, is close to the facilities block that area there seemed to be the most quiet and when i'm talking about the the noise by the way it's not excessive it's only from time to time um, the highway is not always busy i believe the trucks now have a different uh, arterial route into napier that they use more often but um yeah just just the odd times you can get it um it's certainly not as bad as some other campgrounds we stayed at right next to a highway which was at traffic all day long so um, yeah just something to share there now I'm just looking at my notes here um, now we move on to the facilities now the showers and the toilets we found were plentiful and extremely clean and tidy um, so yeah that was really really good um, they have an access code you need to get in to use them um, so also just one other thing you have to get used to is this facilities block is not divided into 
male and female, it's divided into, it's actually unisex. So um, you, you have this for the toilets and the showers. They had their own doors, you had plenty of room in the showers to press a button, go in and get changed and do whatever you have to do. So before you go out, uh, out of your shower cubicle. So there's no problem with it being a unisex facility. It's, um, as I said, it's very clean, very tidy and quite roomy. So, um, and the showers are, are very, very good. Uh, the laundry area, which is another area adjacent to, in between the, the showers and the toilets, and the kitchen area is a utility area, well, I should say the laundry area. Once again, very, very tidy and clean and good size washing machines and dryers. Um, and we found those very good. We did actually use them. Oh, I'm shaking the table. It's not an earthquake, it's me shaking the table. Uh, so that's, that's another thing. Um, the kitchen area. Now that was quite impressive. That was just like all the areas of the facilities. They were clean, tidy, and there was plenty of um, good appliances there. There was, um, just reading off the list here, microwaves, a bit small on, uh, in size, but good microwaves, toasters, bench top stoves um, and ovens, freezers and fridges, everything right down to your cups and saucers. So there's plenty there. And also the washing up area, that was huge. It was um, all stainless steel, all kept really nice with the everything supplied, like the detergent, the, the washing up cloths and, and the tea towels, everything you needed to use to wash up your dishes, etc. Uh, the dining room, um, once again, nice and tidy, good size uh, dining room. Um, the only thing with the dining room is that they put the TV in the same room as the dining room. So if you want to watch something on TV, you could have diners eating their meals and talking away and, and so on. So it can be a bit noisy if you're watching the TV. And there's also an on-site computer in the same room. So everything's in that, within that room. There's also, next to the dining room, as you go up from the dining room, there's a barbecue area, which has a couple of decent-sized barbecues and wash-up sinks. And also, um, it's all under cover with uh, tables and plenty of seating. So that was rather quite impressive. So moving along, um, they have also an excellent recycling area. All the bins are clearly labelled for you to put your cardboard, your plastics and so on in there, so um, not a problem with that sort of thing. Uh, now the kids play area, um, that was really quite good, it um, had a lovely little hut that they could walk out onto and all sorts of things there to keep the kids occupied and it's right in the middle of the campground near the facilities block, so um, it's not near too many um, powered sites, so that's really quite good. Um, I thought it was very well laid out. There's obviously when you go in a reception, there's a good reception area. Uh, lovely staff that this time we found were very, very helpful. Uh, and next to that, there's also a little bit of a cafe. So you can have something to eat and drink there. And they can do things like toasted sandwiches and all sorts of things there. So um, it's worth checking out. Uh, next to that, you go down a little drive, of course, uh, down a slight little hill, down towards all the uh, swimming pools, and there's um, private pools down there as well, and some slides and, and various things like that, changing rooms, uh, showers, and um, yeah, that was they were really reasonably well kept. It's a little bit hard because it was blowing the, day, the weekend that we went, and there, so there was a little bit of debris on top of the water, but basically it wasn't too bad. It was quite enjoyable. They have quite a large array also of like little motel units. There's little lodges and studios of all different uh, bedroom sizes and facilities that they had within them. You could have your basic cabins right through to a beautiful 
um, studio apartment thing with quite good views out over towards uh, Lake Taupo as well. So that, that was quite good. So that's what we found about um, the De Brett's Bar and Holiday Park that we went to uh, in Taupo. So just in summary, um, briefly, the pros, well, the campground itself was very, very clean with great facilities and, and very helpful staff. And we found that quite, quite enjoyable. The cons is that were the sites need attention they um they need to be tidied up a bit with grass and so on like that um especially those potholes and it was i had to really tiptoe around our site to make sure that we didn't um sprain an ankle or do anything silly like that um and the, the dust is a major problem in the high area that the circle area of sites um, where I was sitting down one day and I watched a big dust bowl go through, or dust storm, or whatever you like to call it, go through, um, and a lady was walking towards a caravan with all the dishes and everything. She just cleaned, and the dust thing went straight through where she was, and it went straight into a powered site where people were sitting down having something to eat. And I'm sure that's not that enjoyable. So that dust is a major problem. Um, so, and of course, just bear in mind, some sites can be a bit noisy. The ones near the main highway and the car park and reception area. Um, but as that's not too bad, it can be a bit of a problem for some people. Okay, well, that's basically our um, appraisal of the um, Taupo Spa and Holiday Park, you know, known as the Brits. And uh, we shall move on next week with um, some rather interesting topics. Something that's happening currently in New Zealand to do with camping and caravanning that may have an effect on your vehicle, whether you can even use it. So we'll look into those issues. As I said, we're going to tackle some heavy issues this year. And these issues are not necessarily our own opinion it's just to share the information with you so that you can make your informed decision about how you want to do your camping and caravan so in the meantime that's enough for me i'll rattle on enough so uh, in the meantime happy caravanning happy camping and happy adventures and we'll catch you back here next week bye for now